Hi guys and welcome. Um, so I'm having to make this video again because uh, my recording software I have does not like the controls that the game has. What I mean by that is when I go into this build menu, the bottom right here, this farming, uh, whenever I press that it's just going to stop the recording. Um, I had gotten this all out. I was already getting into it and then that just happened. Um, so I'll start back over again just so... Uh, Y'all know what's gonna what's going on, but basically I'm just going over how do you farm. Uh, I'm by no means the best farmer there is in the game. Uh, there is a lot more to it than even I expected. Um, going into the game, I didn't even know there was a farming aspect to it. Uh, and honestly, it is actually a lot to learn. Um, so I'm gonna go back in here. So before you can even start farming. Uh, what you're going to need to do is go to your spirit orb and then go to base and then you're going to need to unlock your base and your core pylon. Those are the first two things you're going to have to unlock in here. Uh, without that, you can't farm. You can't do anything. Uh, your core pylon is what allows you to uh, to actually farm and place fields. Uh, this right here, uh, the field that I, I'm researching right now, allows you to upgrade the level of your fields. Uh, this allows you to... Uh, expand the area that you're able to place fields the irrigation device is just like a little gun that you can shoot fertilizer with i'll show you what that does in a minute spirit pillar um i haven't unlocked it yet but from what my experience is from what i've been told it's a device that helps protect your crops for a certain amount of time uh irrigation sprinklers i don't even bother with these anymore honestly i'll show you why in a minute um my experience has not been great with these uh, but basically they just uh, fertilize and water the surrounding crops. The level 1 does it in a 1x1 one one area around. The level 2, 2x2 two two area, you get the idea. Uh, the reason the dance balls in here is because sometimes dancing can give you a um, seed. So it's like, hey, you're dancing. All of a sudden someone shows up, gives you some seeds. <laughs> you get the idea. Uh, the orb banner uh, that's in here, it just uh, is a permanent camp basically. Sky Bell stand, don't worry about those. They're completely decorational. Uh, it's more of an in-game thing just to keep having something to do. Uh, they do absolutely nothing for your crops or anything. The Speedy Reaper is just a harvesting tool. Um, you really don't have to worry about that for now. Uh, it's pretty easy to just harvest and do stuff. Uh, but those are the two. Those are the things you're going to need to kind of start out with. If you go over to the forge here, uh, you go to facilities. This is where you're going to be able to craft a uh, higher level field. So you're going to start out with these low fields. Um, do not craft it. That is a waste of time, waste of um, material. Do not craft those level ones. Uh, you go ahead and craft the level twos and threes and so forth, but don't craft the level ones. Uh, what you're going to want to do is go into explore orientation and then find these hidden buildings. Uh, well, pressing the wrong button. Uh, as you can see, there's one right over there. Those hidden, build, hidden buildings, they have fields next to them, usually about four. Uh, what those will give you is those level one fields right there. So you just go over there and you collect them from the side of the building. Don't bother, like I said, with with uh, crafting and wasting material because you're going to get four for every like one of those buildings. So uh, The next thing I'm going to show you is the blast furnace. And the reason I'm showing this in related to farming uh, if I go to material and I uh, let's say I got a lot of fiber, I don't need that fiber. Uh, it turns into plant ash. Now I got plenty of plant ash, so I'm not gonna turn this into that. But plant ash uh, reduces cultivation time by three minutes uh, and grants 500 fertility uh, if used on a fertilizer field. So I'll show you what that does in a minute. Um, but you can also use the dew uh, if you go to consumable here. If I go down here to the bottom. Uh, you can also do use dew in place ash, so you don't have to worry about doing that to begin with if you don't want to. Um, I've just started getting more into using ash since I've got so much dew anyway. Uh, now, when you unlock the mixer, you can start to do fertilizers. So you got basic fertilizers and intermittent fertilizers. They all reduce the time by like uh, different different amounts and. You do have to improve the it's, I, I, it's the skill. So in order to be able to craft more of these, you have to go and improve your actual your cultivation rate. You see the top left here; it allows you to unlock more. Uh, and as you level up more, 
What I suggest doing is unlocking each individual one of these because it's going to allow you to plant more, you can get more, you can craft more recipes. So it's just a good idea to go ahead and be able to unlock some of this stuff. Uh, I did put some some into like heat resistance and things like that um, simply because I needed that at the time. Uh, but I do suggest just unlocking those plants that you can get in the store. Now I'm going to go back out here to where my field was. Uh, you cannot place your field in your house area it will not let you place you have to place it outside of a home area uh, anywhere now look now the fields right over there right but say I had placed my field on the other side of an ocean that's no problem you go to teleport and you want to go to uh, where was it base I believe uh, so that's gonna take you over to your field right so your field's basically like a secondary teleport point uh, beside your home. Now you can see I've got these peppers and so I've got some Job's Tears here. Uh, and they say 0 of 6 fertilizer. Well also, now I can't show you this because like I said, the recording will mess up if I try to show you this. But the if you go into build and you click F7, you go into farming or whatever it is you're on, just go into farming. It's going to give you a number between 0 and 3,000 for level 1 fields and 0 and 6,000 for level 2 fields. You click on that and it's going to allow you to put dew or ash or whatever into that. You That's basically watering the field. That's what that's equivalent of. Now, that's where this irrigation device comes in handy. Earlier I said I got ash. Now, it's in my inventory. I've got about 1,000 of them. Uh, I hit the field. Bam. Done. Bam. Done. So I just go around clicking this, and that's just going to fertilize on my fields. Now this is not, I know just from experience, this is not going to take my field up to a, a 6,000 full, which is what it needs. Um, this is taking up to like 5,800, somewhere in there. Um, but I just need to go around and do this. Now as you can see earlier, I wasn't able to finish this edge because of the way the layout is, so I'm going to have to move it again. But for the sake of the video, I'm just showing this. Um, so if I continue here, this is a convenient gun. So what you would have to do is if you were just doing the uh, build menu, you would have to go up to each plot, click F, and then click on the fertilizer you want to use, and then do it that way. Uh, and I probably will have to do that uh, for each individual plant. But I'm just going to finish up right here. Okay, now each field is fertilized, but it still says... 0 of 6 fertilizer and that's because you have to separately water or fertilize the field from the plant so if you go up to the plant click fertilizer okay now you see I'm gonna I got do here I'm gonna choose to use do I got six. Oh, you see what that did that's because do speeds up the rate of growth um, and so do our other fertilizers you see I have this uh, rare fertilizer I'll show you what that does here in a minute but I'm gonna go around here and go ahead and use this too. But once I finish this field, I'll be right back because this, this will only take a second. Okay, and I'm back. So as you can see, I have now fertilized all these plants. Besides these two, I'm going to show you that here in a second. But as you see, they also get bigger. And you'll see that with all your plants as you fertilize them. They'll speed up their growth. Um, so these all say they have about four hours or so. Now, I wanted to show you, so this also says 4 hours, 4 hours 48 minutes, so if I do the do, now it's 4 hours and 18 minutes. But if I come to this last one right here, and I put in the rare fertilizer, um, so let me put in 6, I now only have 3 here, there we go. Uh, now it only takes 2 hours and 47 minutes as compared to this 4 hours and 17 minutes. So those rare fertilizers are really nice, get rid of this 4 up here. Um, especially for speeding up stuff. Why do you want to speed things up? Well, obviously you may need material, but the main thing is your crops are not exactly protected. Um, so you see where it says protection time? Zero of zero. Uh, so once these are ready, if I don't collect these, someone else, some other player can come along and just say, oh, I like those, and then they can collect those. Um, what, do you, what do you do about this? Well, like I said, uh, sorry about that. I just heard the doorbell. Um, I hope y'all uh, went too loud on the mic. But if I go to the home, spirit or view, that's where you need the um, spirit pillar. That'll help. That'll give you protection time uh, on your crops. 
Now, what do you do until you can get that? Well, there's all sorts of stuff. Not everyone uses that. So, as you can see up there in the sky, there's uh, these planets and these asteroids. Most players that I know that have a pretty good decent sized farm that are doing the high level stuff, they actually fly all the way up there with like a flying mount or something. And they will place their their farm up there on one of those asteroids at the edge somewhere. Something that's really difficult for the player to get to. I've seen them at the bottom of the ocean. You can place them anywhere, basically. As long as that core pylon will sit there, you can place it there. Um, and again, you can teleport. Go to teleport, go to base, and it will teleport you there. So it doesn't matter that your farm is all the way up in space uh, because you could just teleport there. But that's about all I have for, uh, for farming. Um, and it does offer something really unique so if you go in again go into life and then go to cultivate um, it's this heat resistance that's really besides getting the ingredients and getting some of the dishes this is a big thing I, I think uh, for the farming is getting this heat resistance if you're going to be doing anything in the desert anything um, it's really nice to have I think uh, obviously I haven't upgraded mine much, but that's because I want to, uh, get all, the, get all the ingredients, get all the dishes. I'm focusing on that. Uh, but yeah, I, if I missed anything, just let me know down in the comments. Um, and I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and have a wonderful day.